In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome Luma Zoom effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Once you've got After Effects loaded and you have two video clips imported into your timeline inside of Adobe After Effects, we need to begin with this effect. So we're going to go over to the effects and presets tab on the right and we're going to search for motion tile. Now drag motion tile onto your first video clip. In motion tile, we need to change the output width and output height to 200 and then select mirror edges. Now selecting that first video clip, we're going to press S on the keyboard to load up scale and we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale at 100%. Now scroll across a few keyframes and change the scale size down to around 40, 50 or 60%. So as you can see, we've got this really cool zoom out effect happening. The problem with the zoom out though is it's a little bit too aggressive. So selecting that first keyframe, we're going to go into keyframe assistant and change this to easy ease. This means it's going to slowly accelerate into this effect, making it more gradual and less aggressive. Now we need to do the exact same thing for the second video clip. We need to go and search for motion tile and we'll drag motion tile onto the second video clip and then we'll change the output width and the output height to 200. And then we'll make sure we select mirror edges. Now we're just gonna go back into the first video clip inside of motion tile and we're gonna change the width and the height from 200 to 300. Now we'll go onto the second video clip and we'll press S on the keyboard to load up scale and we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale go back in time a few keyframes and we'll pull this up to around 160%. Now we'll just pull this across over to the left to make sure this overlaps the end of the first clip. And we're gonna take this one step further. We're just gonna add a little bit of bounce to add more character to this effect. So after those first two keyframes on the second video clip, we're gonna scroll across again and create a brand new keyframe. And in that middle keyframe, we're gonna pull this down to around 70%. So when we watch this back, there's a very subtle zoom but we want to make the bounce a little bit more subtle. So we'll just drag that to the right and then we'll just easy ease all of the keyframes that we have so far. So if you watch this back, we have this really nice zoom out effect. Camera bounces, this looks really awesome. But it's still a little bit messy. So to hide this, we need to activate motion blur and the motion blur will hide all of this. So select motion blur on both of these video layers and then activate the motion blur in the sequence by selecting the motion blur icon just above the videos. So that is basically the zoom part of the transition now complete, but we need to add the Luma fade part. So in effects and presets, we're going to search for a Luma key and we'll drop Luma key on top of the second video. Now from here, we need to create some keyframes. So at the start of this effect, you want to pull the threshold all the way up to around 300% create a brand new keyframe, and then we'll scroll across a few keyframes and we'll pull this back down to 0%. By applying these keyframes here, it basically means that the Luma key is going to gradually fade in on top of the zoom transition. And this adds a really awesome Luma zoom effect. So all you need to do to finish this off is just clean this up, move some of your keyframes around, perfect this, and as soon as you've done that, that is how you do the Luma fade transition. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.